Hey, how you doing? Anthony Ferraro here of Create Sci-Fi. Today is another continuation of the Mandalorian builds. Um, a few weeks ago, I made the Mandalorian blaster to go with the helmet. And since I had the blaster, I figured uh, the next thing to do would be the belt and the holster. Now, I feel like um, I do leather work myself and uh, a belt is a pretty easy thing. Like once you kind of sit down to make one, it's, it's actually pretty simple. In the case of the Mandalorian belt, the Boba Fett um, inspired belt, the barrier to entry for a lot of people who have craft skills, but are, are maybe like jack of all trades is all the pouches. Uh, Cause there's a lot of components to those pouches and it's leather, it's sewing. So uh, my goal was to try and simplify that uh, process. So what I did is I came up with a pouch that you can make with one piece of leather and glue instead of sew. And like I said, I'm very excited with the way that this turned out. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Okay, so let's uh, start. So these pouches, that's just one piece of leather, right? And I was able to mold them and shape them so they are 3D, it's not like they're just flat. And I have to say, um, I'm pretty uh, happy with the way this came out. I mean, it's, it's kind of one of the best things I've made to date, right? So it's like, whoa, and there's the holster, all these pouches, and then, you know, the blaster cartridges, you gotta have that, right? So, um, leather working, right? So it's a little more involved, but pretty much if you're working with craft foam, uh, it's not too different. And actually leather, especially the veggie tan leather, which we're gonna use, um, is really easy to work with. So um, let's go over this build. <laughs> okay, first off, since we usually don't work in leather, here's a few of the basic tools that I'll be using on this build. Uh, I'm not gonna rattle them all off. Let me just add a little graphic here to let you know what these all are. You can screenshot this. All right, so let's get into the build. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just make a paper pattern because we're gonna be making a bunch of these pouches. So I created a basic pattern and then I transferred it over uh, in Photoshop just to clean it up a little because I'm gonna be making about eight of these. So I'm um, just transferring this to a piece of Sintra. That way I'll have a, a hard plastic uh, template so that I can just easily mark out uh, eight of these. And here I'm making a notation of where the slots are gonna be. This is where the pouch is gonna go onto the belt. And it's important that these are all in the same place. So I cut those holes out of the template there. So when I transfer it to the leather, I know that they're all uniform. So here's a full hide. This is a, <laughs> a shoulder hide. Um, this is a little less expensive than a whole half hide. And right now I'm just using that template and I'm just marking out eight of these. Rinse, repeat, it's a lot of leather. All right, so there's the patterns all marked out. And now we go back into the shop and I'm just gonna cut these out with a sharp knife. It's, it's a lot like foam. Make sure that you have a sharp blade because uh, otherwise it's just gonna make things difficult. And now I just cut out all eight of these. And as you see there, that's how it's gonna fold over. Basically, I'm just testing, <laughs> make sure that I measured everything right and that, that looks good. All right, so now I have the belt. The belt you can cut from the hide or you can buy these strips uh, pre-cut like this. If you're gonna cut it from the hide, you just wanna get one of these uh, leather strap cutters. They're really inexpensive and it's a really neat tool. Basically, you just measure out how wide you want your strap to be and you just pull it through and that's it. I mean, if you were just making a belt, it's a pretty easy thing to do. All right, so now I have this punch and what this punch is for is to punch out the hole for that pin part of the buckle to pop through. Um, but I'm gonna use it to cut uniform holes in the back of this leather that are gonna thread through our belt. 
So now outside with the rubber mallet, I'm just mashing this leather into the pavement. <laughs> and this is just a, a easy way to give a little texture, a little life to the leather. Now I'm just punching out these holes. Like I said, this is meant to cut out uh, the belt notch. So I just need to punch about three in a row of these, but it gives it a nice even cut and it gives you the round edges, which you'll never see, but it just makes it a little more manageable when you're putting everything together. Makes sense, right? All right, so there's those cuts. Now I have my deck of leather, that's <laughs> a lot of leather. And now I'm gonna bevel the edges. This is just a simple little tool that is gonna bevel the, the corner edges of the leather. And um, you'll see here, it just does a nice little touch and it's very simple to do. I think that tool is like $7. But now I'm making a template here. It's gonna be four inches where I fold. So I wanna make sure I fold these all in the same place. So again, with my uh, hard plastic Sintra uh, template, I'm measuring that. This is about a quarter inch of foam. And this is how we're gonna get away with making these pouches with one piece of leather. And what I'm gonna do is when I uh, form the leather, we're gonna form it around this piece of foam and that's what's gonna give it uh, dimensionality. So here's just a little tub of hot water and we're gonna soak the leather in there so that we can stretch it around that form. And you just soak it for like five seconds and it, it'll get really soft. It's surprising how pliable this becomes. So five seconds in the hot water bath and now uh, we're just gonna form it around that little piece of foam that we cut and squeeze the edges, you just wanna work that leather. And now I'm just gonna take um, some popsicle sticks, some craft sticks, and we're just gonna clamp that down so that it's even, uh, got even pressure across the whole thing. And also too, that helps from getting uh, clamp marks embedded into the leather. So now I'm gonna do the same thing uh, with the, the top of this that folds over. I just wet that a little bit more. And I'm just gonna use a piece of cardboard here so that my clamp doesn't dig into the leather. And there you have your little package. <laughs> and then we're gonna rinse and repeat this eight times. And there they all drying. They'll probably dry in about four or five hours, but in this case, I left them overnight. Now I'm making a template for the little piece of leather that's gonna hold the blaster rounds. Uh, this is a cool feature that you see on a lot of these belts, so I definitely didn't wanna leave this out. All I'm doing, is just cutting a, a square piece of leather. I just knock off the edges to give it a little interest. And I'm cutting a strap, and this is gonna be the strap that um, sort of loops over the cartridges. I mean, they almost look like shotgun shells, right? So bevel the edges, just to add a little value. Pretty simple thing to do. So now I'm gonna take the cartridges, and I'm gonna use a piece of uh, painter's tape and I'm just gonna figure out how long the piece needs to be and where I need to space it. I'm just eyeballing this, so um, it's kind of a fluid process, but this is gonna get me uh, in the ballpark. So now I just mark out the leather and I start punching holes uh, based on this piece of tape. Now that piece of tape represents the strip of leather. Does so it make sense? So now I'm, um, usually I punch holes, but when it's a thick piece like this, I gotta use a drill because that um, the hole puncher doesn't reach in that far. But on the leather strip, we can go ahead and punch the holes like we usually do. Now what I'm attempting to do here is have the holes line up uh, where I marked with the tape so that we can create this ribbon pattern that's gonna hold our um, blaster cartridges in place. Now again, like I said, because I'm creating this, this is not an already um, figured out pattern, I'm gonna come up a little bit short on the edge there. So what I do is readjust uh, my piece and now they all fit. And that worked out. The good thing was I just had to make a slight adjustment. I didn't have to start all over. So now to secure all these rivets, this is a tool that I'm gonna have to do outside because it's a lot of bashing, but I'm just showing here. There's the bottom piece and the top piece and it basically just mushrooms the rivet together. And I did that outside. So now I'm making the template for the holster for the blaster. This is a lot of leather. I mean, it's basically like based off a of Western gun, but it's big. So this is, uh, luckily I had enough leather in this hide. I was worried about that. So now I just cut out a basic shape from a pattern I created. 
uh, that were folding around uh, the blaster. And here is the same process like I did with the pouches. I wet it and I formed it around the blaster and we're gonna leave that overnight. Okay, so now it's the next day and I have these little uh, posts with a, with a ball at the end of them. And this is how we're gonna fasten the lip of the pouch. Basically, you cut a hole and you put in the post and then when you pop another hole, it pressure fits the leather onto that post and ball and it's a nice simple solution. So here, uh, again, I'm doing a template because I want them to all line up in the same place. So I make my mark where I'm gonna put the holes to put the post and the hole that receives the post. So I just cut that out with the leather hole punch. And what I wanna do here is screw these on before I glue everything together because it's just easier to access. And I test fit these and it's good that it's a little tough because over time that'll loosen up. So you want a tight fit. And that looks good. So now I'm gonna take some E6000 glue. Um, that's a glue that I like to use when working with organic materials. And I'm just gonna glue down all the seams of these. You don't wanna put too much because when you squeeze it, it's gonna spread out. So I make sure to squeeze this all together. And the most important is that bottom piece. Make sure that bonds. And then I do the same process with the craft sticks and the clamps. And now we just set those aside and let those dry. Again, I let them dry overnight. And then here is the, the holster that's formed and I just glued this together and I had a fan on it to speed that up. And there that is. I trimmed the edges and that looks pretty cool. Now that's a big chunk of leather there that's gonna be hanging off the belt. So I wanna add a detail to this to just give it a little life. So I use the painter's tape to make a uh, pattern that I know is gonna fit. And what I wanna do is uh, put a piece of aluminum here that's gonna sort of tie in with the buckle. So I cut out this pattern. I fit it onto the top there and that looks about right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trace it out um, onto a can. This is just a, uh, an old beer can and I'm gonna use this as the, the piece of metal. Um, it's really lightweight and it's easy to work with. You could even probably cut this with scissors even though I used a knife. So I'm um, just working this in the direction so I get a flat piece. And now I'm uh, transferring my template onto the aluminum. Gonna cut this out. So there, um, that looks good. I've test fit that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to outline this and I'm going to wet the leather again so that I can do some embossing on it. And I'm just gonna take a stylus um, and I'm just gonna make an indentation in the perimeter of where that's gonna go. It's just, a you know, you could not do this step, but you know, it just gives it just a little bit more visual interest. So now I'm, I'm sanding down this piece of aluminum one last time and I'm just make sure that there's no sharp corners because it is a holster, your hand will be going uh, past it. So you don't wanna catch on a piece of aluminum and rip it off. So uh, I spent a little extra time sanding this. Again, with the E6000, um, I clamp it all down just to make sure that it's an even bond and we put that aside. Now, this buckle is just a square basic uh, Tandy buckle. And what I'm gonna do is just notch it out just to give it a little more dimension so it doesn't look just like a square Western belt so it has more of a tactical uh, Star Wars universe feel. What I did is just off camera is I just took the grinder and I notched that out and I'm just gonna file that down and smooth it out. But it just makes it a little more interesting. And as you see, once it covers up that piece of leather, it kind of looks tactical, but it's, it looks more uh, Star Wars than just a square Western style buckle. And more sanding, a lot of sanding. And now we're going to dye the leather. So just put the dye in the bin. And I do this with a cloth because we want to spread it out and we actually don't want to use a lot of dye because we want this to have a little bit of life. So when we put a thin coat and spread it around, it's going to pick up all the flaws in the leather, which is what we want. So we can get that sort of two-tone thing happening. So now you'll see everything's dyed here and that two-tone is what we want. And the reason we have that is because we didn't put on a thick, even coat. We sort of just massaged it in. And this is the look that we, we definitely want. Now that the leather is dry, we're just gonna take a really, really fine grit sandpaper and just sand this. And you see the difference there. Um, it, it weathers it 
and again, it just gives it a little life, like something's going on. Then I take some files in like areas where I know something for years would be taken in and out of this pouch, or you know, these shells would have been going in and out of there. We just file it down. This, I just don't want to be pristine, so we just knock the edge off just a little bit. Use a rat tail file for that. And as you see there, now it has some life. So the final step is we're gonna condition this leather and then that's gonna bring it back to life because it's a little flat now. So I'm just gonna use some mink oil. There's lots of different kind of leather conditioners you can use. And as you see, once we start rubbing it in, that's the final, final step that really, it makes it look lived in the world and it, and it just, gives it a little bit of life as opposed to when it's, you see when it's dry like that, that with that little bit of oil really just kicks it off. And now we just do the rest of the pieces. That holster is pretty epic. <laughs> right on, and here's the final pieces. Really happy with the way that turned out. And here's a final look at the finished belt. Pretty cool, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> that really came out good. I mean, it's, it's a little more work, but it's really not that much more involved uh, than working with foam. But because it's an organic material, um, I didn't rush it. Like I let things set overnight. So it took me like two or three days where I usually try to do this stuff in a day. But you can certainly move things along if you need to. But I think it's one of those projects where you just take your time with it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, I think that's really gonna add a lot of value to any Mandalorian costuming that you do. Well, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. <laughs> I love to read the comments. And be sure to sign up for the email newsletter. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs> Even in leather.